Hello guys, this is Boshi. So today I'm going to show you guys how to take a low-key uh, food photography using only uh, natural light. Alright guys, so now I have set up the camera already. So today I'm shooting with Nikon Z6 with 105 micro lens. So uh, in order to create a really dark environment, I bought some uh, black cardboard from Art Supplies. And to get the really uh, to get some depth, so I also placed a green uh, linen behind the coffee, and also I asked the staff to give me some coffee beans so I, I can I can put in front of the the ice latte. So now I'm ready to go. So let's go take some photos and see how the photos turns out. Uh, just one tip that I want to mention is I'm using a CPL in front of my camera so in order to get rid of the reflection of the glass so if you don't have the CPL uh, it should be or should be alright but it's better to have one Okay, we just photographed the, the coffee, so now the food is ready and we're ready to take some uh, photos for the food and using the same uh, lighting environment. Alright guys, so uh, now we are ready to take some photos for the food. So I changed the lens to 50mm lens and uh, I'm, I'm taking photos from top, top, top broad view and the lighting is coming through a uh, left hand side in order to create some uh, depth. So I also placed the three uh, black cardboard just beside the food and to reduce the light a little bit. And now we are ready to take some photos and see you later. Okay guys, so I'm at home and I just saved all the photos into my computer and now I just want to share with you guys some of my experience about uh, color grading uh, because some people is ask me um, how I color grade my photos and I think today is the opportunity that I can uh, share with you guys. So also if you guys have has your own uh, color grading um, tips or techniques you can also share with me and we can learn each other learn from each other together so before we get started I just want to share with you guys uh, a very good tool for color grading it's called Adobe Color CC so if you go Adobe page and you can find the Adobe Color Themes panel um, under, the, under this page and what you can see here is you can see all the color rules in the page so I'm not going to talk about everything, all the color rules today, but I just want to focus on two color rules, which is uh, complement, complementary and compound color rules. So I really like this color, these two color rules and I want to, to color grade my photo uh, follow, by following these color rules. So, for example, let's ju let's jump into the uh, Adobe Color CC just very quick. So I'm I have some reference images that I found on the internet, which is I really like. So I'm gonna import the image into the Adobe Color CC. For example, this one. So I just select select the main color that I can find uh, in this photo, uh, pretty much like this. So we can tell from the panel. We can tell this color rule is, is if we jump back, this is a complementary color rule. So this is really a really great tool. So let's see if we can, uh, maybe this one. Let's find the, um, the colors in the photo. That's pretty much. Alright, let's see the colors. See, so this is like this is more like a compound color rule, and I think these two color rules are 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 used really uh, 
widely on food photography. Uh, we're very often on food photography. So now let's jump into Photoshop. Uh, this is the okay. So now let's jump into a Lightroom and see what we got here. And this is the photo that I selected from uh, this morning. And I just labeled label that the photo that I like to red label. And if I just select the red color, and the photo gonna pop up here. So let's get start with this one, the main the main photo. So to follow the the color rule and. I just want to use the color Adobe Color CC to see uh, what what's the color in uh, in this photo. Okay, so I just did a screenshot of the photo, and I'm gonna import the photo to Adobe Color CC. So we can see here, oh, that color is pretty similar. So we're gonna select the meat is red. Uh, is red. And there's some yellow from the egg, and we can see yellow here, and this is blue, and we got we got some green here. Now, if we if we change to color view, uh, we can tell that our color is based on the orange and yellow area, and there is uh, other blue color. So to color grade this. As I said, I really like the complementary color color rule. So I'm I want to, I just I just want to follow this color rule. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I will try to fix the blue uh, the green color to the yellow and orange way to this way. So in order to to get that color rule, so let's jump back to Lightroom and. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to color correct the the image first, which is the white balance. We can we can tell the white balance is uh, more blue at the moment. So let's select this one. Now we fix the white balance, but I think it's too red. So probably I I will say uh, five thousand three hundred should be good for the white balance, and I want to. Um, to make the tint that's too much around here 28 is pretty good so that's before and after all right Maybe 23 Okay, 25 is pretty good. Now, this photo is uh, currently under exposure, so I want to just add a little bit exposure. So let's bring the the shadows a little bit. Because remember, uh, for this one, we uh, for this for this photo, we just we want like a really low key dark environment. So I'm not gonna gonna. Uh, increase the shadow too much, so I just leave it leave it here, maybe sixty, and I'm gonna decrease the contrast, so we can see uh, more clear, and we can add the contrast later on, uh, from the curve. Probably forty two, and we decrease the clarity a little bit, and this one. All right, now we just color correct the image. And let's jump into next step is the the curve. So I want to add. I always like add the contrast here because in this way we don't lose any detail. So let's de decrease the shadow, increase the highlight, so we can get an S curve here. Shadow. All right. Okay. Let's jump into the next one. Now we are here at HSL color correct panel, and as I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, 
decrease the green or maybe um, uh, push the green to like toward uh, more like yellow and orange so let's try that let's select the green color under the hue so I'm gonna pull the green toward to probably uh, 47 47 is good and I think uh, maybe let's pull the blue more like more to this way this way okay that's pretty good and I'm gonna decrease the satur saturation for the green color let's see Yep. 65 and I also want to um, to decrease the blue color a little bit because remember our main subject is the uh, is the food so yep minus 15 is pretty good and how about this one yeah maybe a little bit Okay, and let's jump into the uh, luminance again the green color and what we can do here make the green color darker okay now that's looking pretty good to me alright let's jump into the next nice one Okay, if you um, for for me, I personally I really like um, the yellow and current color tone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some uh, some yellow into the into the uh, shadow. I'm just leave the highlight here because I really like the uh, the highlight color. So probably what I normally do, I'm gonna select probably around thirty five to forty and I'm gonna add some saturation so we can see I can I add some uh, yellow and orange into the shadow so I'm gonna select the balance to balance the, uh, the colors probably like 80 percent and now I jump back to the saturation and I'm gonna uh, change the saturation to a reasonable reasonable uh, amount probably around 10 okay so now it's looking pretty good and we just carry on keep going keep going oh I always uh, enable the profile corrections corrections so uh, move on move on move on okay if you want um, more like a film look you can add some grain but not too much, maybe I just add some maybe 15 so I'm gonna um, decrease the, the red color a little bit so I just decrease the saturation a little bit from here maybe minus 10 that's good, let's see if the green color do anything here uh, probably not All right okay I think now it's looking pretty good and let's move back to our basic co correction and what I want to do is I want to add a filter here right oops 
Okay. So, I really want the people attention on the food, and so I'm gonna gonna make the uh, the background a little bit darker. So I'm gonna um, change the exposure, decrease the uh, the exposure maybe uh, somewhere here, and highlight. No, I'm just leave the highlight here. So if you if you like some fade out um, looking, so maybe you can add some blacks. Probably, but not too much. Maybe just five should do the work. And yeah, that's pretty good. <coughs> All right, let's see. <coughs> this is before, and <coughs> this is after. Excuse me. So let's using use the brush tool and I just want to brush the highlight on the food a little bit more so make the food more pop up. Okay. And maybe some highlight on the coffee beans. Right, that's looking pretty good. Now, what I want to do is maybe fix the little dirty spot. Okay. Now that's looking pretty good. Let's redo this. Yep. Okay. All right. And last one. Yeah, I think that's pretty much. And let's see uh, what the color looks looks like now. Let's do a screenshot. So I'm gonna put the color on my desktop. I'll uh, put a photo on my desktop, and I'm gonna go back to the Adobe Color CC and import image into Adobe Color CC. And I'm going to select the color. Uh, we got blue here. We got a little bit green, yellow. That's right, red color and our bold and our yellow here. So let's say the color view. And you can see now, compared to before, our color panel is more like a, a compound color rule. And maybe it's more like a complementary color rule. And yeah, so let's try if this one, let's come and see to copy the, um, all the color, to, uh, to copy the, the filters. So we're gonna, let's try if this one works on this one. Uh, let's fix the white balance. And turn it around. Smaller. Okay. Um, decrease actually decrease the highlight. Okay. It's looking pretty good, and I think the white balance can go darker a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna select the brush tool and I'm gonna to uh, brush here, so we can we can get some details here and we get some 
some uh, depths. Also the coffee beans and the ice latte itself. Okay, now it's looking looking good. All right, let's move to the last one, and we're gonna common V to paste. And yeah, we can see that uh, the value balance is not correct, so we're gonna fix that. So I'm gonna select the natural area probably here. Okay. Hmm. Now the color is looking good to me, and I'm gonna select this one to here. Okay, that's good. So maybe this one I can add some clarity. And maybe exposure highlight. Yep. So I'm gonna. I really like this one. Maybe a little bit blue. So I'm decrease the the white by the temperature. Probably here. And this one I just want to add some clarity. All right, that's looking good and what nice. So maybe I can darker the blue a little bit. Now we can add some contrast to this image. Okay. So now it's looking good and we have done all the three photos. Okay guys, so uh, this video is really uh, really is a long video and uh, I hope this video is helpful and thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.